Are you following a macro-based diet and just have no clue what that looks like in terms of your food portions? Well, look no further, we've got you covered. I'm Emmy, Registered Dietitian and Nutrition Director at Trifecta, and I've got the expert here, Mario, our Executive Chef, to walk you through how to portion your food to match your macros using food cups and measuring spoons. Yeah, absolutely. So this system is super simple. I use this system on the daily for myself. I've used it for years now to cook and portion food for athletes, believe it or not. Um, and we're going to teach you now how to do it. Um, every single food has a different measuring cup or tablespoon. We have that laid out for you in the article, so make sure you check that out. Yeah, and part of this process too is not just knowing your macros, but starting to understand what that looks like in food so you can portion appropriately. So we're actually gonna walk you through about a 350, 400 calorie meal. That's gonna be about 25 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein, and then about nine grams of fat. So what does that look like in terms of portion size? Yep. Let's start with our carbs. Yeah, absolutely. So for this, we picked some white rice. So for white rice, about 15 grams is going to be a third cup of rice. So we'll do one and a half of these. And it's super simple. It's not going to be anything crazy. Just what, me measure it out just like that and put it in your container. And that will equi be equivalent to about 25 grams. Yeah. Of and well, these are not the gold standard when it comes to portioning your food. That's really the food scale. Measuring cups will get you pretty close, but you can see there's definitely some wiggle room for error. Absolutely. So you're not going to hit your macros as precisely as if you're using a food scale, but this is still a really easy go-to, and a lot of people will have these in their kitchen already. Yep, and five grams won't really break the bank. Yeah, it's not going to make or break your nutrition. Yep. Uh, so next we have vegetables, and these are kind of a free-for-all food. Free-for-all food. <laughs> so I like to have a lot of veggies. They're really good for micronutrients, for fiber, um, and these are very easy to to use when you are uh, purchasing the a la carte food items or vegetables from, from Trifecta. Yeah, so vegetables are pretty much low calorie and they're not really a significant source of any macronutrients, so we consider them a free food. Uh, and really what that means is you get a lot of good nutrition and yeah. you can bulk up the portion size of your meal without getting a ton of calories. Yeah. So if you're looking to eat for more volume, non-starchy vegetables are the way to go. Yep, yeah, they're your friend. So we're gonna get about a, a cup of these, right? Yeah, a cup of these, again, just like we did with the um, with the rice, we're gonna do this with the vegetables. Measure a cup, nice heaping cup. This vegetables never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. Put it in here, yep. and you're good to go. Yeah, so you can get a lot more portion there, and again, very little calories mm -hmm. in that. And then what about the protein? If we want to do about a four ounce piece of protein, how do you recommend we measure that? Because you can't really put it in a measuring cup. <laughs> Absolutely, so two things here. Um, and the great thing about a la carte protein uh, is that it's already portioned to four ounces. And so our chicken is already cooked four ounces. So you can simply grab the chicken, put it in your container, or conversely, you can use the gold standard weight scale. And if you haven't seen our other video on how to use a weight scale, definitely go check that out. So you'll tear it first and yep. then measure out your four ounces. Four ounces. Perfect. There you go. Four ounces. We got it right there. Yep. Tear that up. 30 grams of protein. What do we do to finish this? Uh, and then you also want to consider fat. So a lot of times we're either adding fat as a topping or it's happening in the cooking process. Right. Um, don't just go and pour a bunch of oil in the pan. That's honestly one of the easiest ways to blow your macros up and ruin your diet. You want to make sure that you're measuring this as well, even in the cooking process. And if you're using any sauces additionally, right, you want to measure those out. Yep. So if we're doing about a tablespoon of fat, mm -hmm. um, how many grams of fat is that going to get us? That's about nine grams of fat. Yeah. Yep. So depending on the type of fat that you're using, it's somewhere seven to 10 and about seven, nine grams per yep. oil. Yep. And you can check the nutrition facts for that. In this case, one tablespoon is about 15 grams weighted, which is equivalent to those nine grams that we're talking about. Yep. So super straightforward, just like we did with the rice and the uh, vegetables. We're going to measure a tablespoon of oil, put it right on top. <laughs> and we don't, we don't usually dump oil on our food like this. Right. We just want to show you for measuring sake. A lot of times this is happening in the cooking process. And the best thing is let's change the oil for a sauce and you get the same amount of nutrition, but with tons of flavor. And again, I always <laughs> talk about this, definitely use your sauces for that purpose. Yeah, so just make sure you're checking the nutrition facts label for anything that's a little bit more prepared. If you're going out to eat, the more that you're measuring your food at home, you get better kind of eyeballing your portion sizes, uh, but fat and things like that can always be hidden in your food. So if you wanna have more control of your macros, grab yourself some measuring cups and spoons and start portioning like a pro. Absolutely. All right, there you have it. Check out the article in the link below for more tips and tricks on how to portion for a macro-based diet.